In Suicide Squad, resources are incredibly important. They're going to be vital to making progress, especially when it comes to the end game. You can craft new weapons, you can overhaul them, you can like do a lot of changes within the weapons, your mods and everything. And you'll see if you look at the top of the screen, I've got over 600,000 credits. I've got nearly 5,000 Prometheum, 2,800 of the green things, 1,400 blue, like nearly 600 purple, over 130 yellow things, and then two of the final things, whatever they are, the triangle things. And when it comes to some of the changes you can make, if we go to my loadout, if you look at the heavy weapon that I've got for King Shark, you'll see if you look at the attributes, you've got 6% ammo reserve capacity, and then the one that I've changed, because you're only allowed to do one per item, so you can only change the augment in one slot, I've got 20% heavy weapon damage. That was something related to SMGs before changing it, but that is going to cost resources in order to like change the augments on your gear and then overhaul him will re-roll the entire thing. And then obviously you can craft new weapons if you fancy something different. So the three best ways I've found to earn resources is number one, if you have any spare weapons or anything at all, if you press X, if you're on an Xbox controller, and you mark it to break down, if you dismantle all the gear you are not using, you are going to get resources. For green and lower, you're just going to get the green things. For blues, you'll get the blue and green. For purple gear, you'll get the purple, blue, and green. Then for legendaries, if I just quickly mark this one, you are going to see that I don't get yellows. I just get four purple, six blue, and eight green. You'll see that if you find something from an infamy set, you're going to get the yellow things. So it can be quite tough to get hold of the higher end resources from this, but every spare bit of gear you get that you don't want, dismantle it because it's just going to get you resources. It's going to help you out when it comes to your crafting, overhauling, augmenting and things like that. Next up is to pay attention to your contract. Once you are done with hacks support missions, you will get access to being able to have five active contracts at the same time. And you'll see these have different rarities. You've got your standard blue ones, you have purple epic ones, and it goes all the way up to legendary ones. So with this, if I complete two Raising Hell playlists, I am going to get 10,000 credits on one of the yellow resources. And then there are others you'll see that I can get purple, I can get the green and the blue things, and there are even some that pop along that give you XP. So contracts are really, really important. And then one last thing that's going to get you credits and resources is when you are in the open world, if we go over here for an example, you're going to see these random like artillery cannons and stuff that are placed on rooftops. And if we take these down, you get a lot of resources from them. So if I just quickly kill the enemies, I don't even think I finished the enemy off. But if I kill these and I get rid of that shield on the back of this cannon. Now, once I destroy this, you're going to see we got one of the yellow things. We got 5,500 credits. We got 10 of the green things, five of the blue, and we got two of the purple. So they are really, really good because if you're using a character, especially like King Shark, you are going to be able to hold down your left bumper and jump. It's going to be like a vertical dash thing, and it's going to give you an opportunity to look around on rooftops and see where these like placements are for the artillery cannons and stuff. So the contracts, dismantling your old gear and finding the placements on rooftops are going to get you lots and lots of different resources that are going to be used for crafting, overhauling and changing up the augments on your gear, which is going to help you make progress in the game, increase your survivability, your damage output and things like that. So that's exactly how you get more resources or get resources faster in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And what we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.